Thousands are getting ready to celebrate in downtown Boise this weekend. It's the Boise Pride Festival. The event starts this Friday, continues until Sunday. Sunday is also September 11th, which has some upset in the community. Boise Pride has heard comments about the date not being appropriate as it falls on the 21st anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Boise Pride is also hosting this festival on the heels of an attempted riot at a Pride Festival in North Idaho earlier in the summer. You may remember the 31 Patriot Front members loaded into the back of a U-Haul in Coeur d'Alene. Police arrested and charged all 31 for conspiracy to riot back in June. In light of this, Boise Pride is confident that they will have a successful and safe event this weekend, but they say a little extra attention is in place. Here's Andrew Bartline. It's not the time of year, the message it spreads, or even the place it's hosted. It was just a really natural, easy fit for me. Boise Pride Festival Vice President Joseph Kibbe takes pride in where all three intersect. The LGBTQ plus community here is very tight knit. Uh, it is supportive of one another. And I think you see that through a lot of different activities that the LGBTQ community does here. The most notable event remains the Boise Pride Festival, a three day celebration in the capital city. Helping to drive that narrative in Boise around diversity and inclusion. It's the same message the North Idaho Pride Alliance aimed to promote through their Pride event this June. Until 31 members from the conservative group Patriot Front intended to derail the event in Coeur d'Alene. It was very scary, uh, very alarming, and I had a lot of questions like everybody else. Police found the Patriot Front members in the back of a U-Haul with face masks, shin guards, and metal shields. They came from 13 different states. Police arrested all 31. They're charged with conspiracy to riot. I mean, those individuals don't stand for what Idaho represents. Most of those people were not from inside of the state of Idaho and they traveled here to do something very bad. Which is why Boise Pride didn't waste time to prepare for their festival. And one of the very first phone calls that I made was to Boise Chief of Police and spoke to him about that event. All to ensure a safe experience through their relationship with Boise Police. First and foremost, we are the peacekeepers. We Patrol Sergeant the Sarah Hill says Boise Pride is one of the larger events BPD helps monitor, but their goal remains the same regardless of size. We want people to be uh, comfortable. They want I want them to feel safe. We, the department wants them to feel safe. The event has been safe in the past, where agencies like BPD evaluate the need for resources on a case-by-case -case basis. We monitor the information that comes into us from anticipated numbers, uh, vendors, and what has happened typically in the past as a starting point for us. So I'm involved in uh, as a supervisor for the team of officers assigned for Friday night's events. Boise Police is a, is a good police department. I want individuals to understand that. Kibbe also wants people to know they're safe at the festival and Pride is taking the extra steps they see necessary with their own private security. We made the commitment to go ahead and um, hold those steady and do some slight increases in some areas. Because Kibby knows not everyone accepts the LGBTQ plus community. I think there's a small group of people that are not happy. But Boise Police asks that everyone at least shows respect to the community and the festival. For the people that are not happy for this event occurring in our community and they want to rally or walk a, a different uh, position, we encourage them to have a safe and secure a uh, peaceful rally or uh, event as well. So this is not just for one side or another. This is for um, all people to be able to um, speak their mind about the causes that they feel strongly about. The last day of Pride is Sunday. That falls on September 11th. And Kibbe says he's heard complaints from people who say it's inappropriate to hold Pride on 9-11. But he says this isn't new. Pride was held on 9-11 last year as well. And it is strictly a coincidence. Pride got pushed back due to COVID concerns in previous years. Normally, it's in June to celebrate Pride Month. But they found in September, college kids could attend the festival as well as they're back in town. Kibbe says the second weekend of September also makes sense logistically because people are traveling for that Labor Day weekend the first week. So additionally, Joe, 9-11 will be recognized as part of Boise Pride Festival's lineup of events on Sunday as well. They're not ignoring the fact it's 9-11 and next year, Pride will not be on 9-11 just because of the how the calendar shakes out and rotates. It'll also be interesting to see the turnout, Andrew, because I know that you know there are people from across our region and I've met people from across the country. They travel to be in Boise for Pride.
Well, I guess we'll have to find out and see this weekend. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. All right, Andrew Bartline reporting for us. Thank you so much, Andrew.